G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of the True Footy AFL Evolution 2 Career Mode. We're playing after the bye now and we've got the West Coast Eagles hosting the Essendon Bombers on a Thursday night at Optus Stadium. The uh, AFL likes to persist with this particular fixture and it's going ahead again tonight. In terms of lift changes, guys, Kelly comes back into the side. Xavier O'Neill is unlucky to miss out despite playing really, really well in the two games. He just makes way for the faster period, Tim Kelly. And we've got a little bit of injury. Lewis Jetta has uh, sustained a concussion last week in our shock loss, not shock loss, but heartbreaking loss to the Pies. And youngster Ben Johnson comes in as well with the rain. I want a smaller sort of defender at ground level to sort of um, play that role that Jetta plays as well. And Ben Johnson's one of our best kicks out of the back half. Despite only being 18, so he plays that Jetta role well. I think he's sort of going to be the natural successor to Jetta in this Eagles side. But in terms of the season, we're 9 and 2 after going 9 and 0. We've lost two in a row against GWS and Collingwood. We've got a tough game next week against Richmond at the G. And I think after that, two weeks after that, we've got Geelong at GMHBA. So this is a game we really can't afford to drop if we're wanting to hold on to our position on top of the ladder or even top two, frankly. So. In the past, Essendon have been a tricky side on this Thursday night fixture. Um, we obviously played them in the finals as well last year. Our recent form is pretty good. I'm thinking of 2018 when they belted us in Perth. That hurt. Uh, but other, th other than that, guys, I'm fairly confident of a win. Let's see how the boys respond after two losses in a row. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he's running into an open goal here. How does that happen? Poor defense by me. Jake Stringer has waltzed into an open goal. The Bombers are on the board. Gaffey, can he spot someone up? He needs to find someone with a good kick. That is a great kick. Oh, JK has spilled the mark. He's been given a free kick, thankfully. Oh, Gaffey. Spent it before he really had it. Darling should put this through the middle, and the Eagles don't have their first goal. Gee whiz. Oh, that too quick. Petrocelli should put this through. He does. Not slick by me there. Handballed it before I... Well, I didn't think I had the ball. Doesn't matter. Petrocelli has put us on the board. We're all even. Ooh. Don't know about that one. But they're taking... Taking it. They're running into an open goal. Yeah, right. Didn't think I was too close to the man on the mark there. Maybe a 50. Who knows? They never get paid. Oh, he snapped it from nowhere. Has it? Oh, it's just hit the post. Oh, that might not go through. <laughs> oh, betrayed by the bounce. That's a bit stiff. Outstanding pressure. Oh, come on. Not much you can do about that. I had three Eagles free. And he's intercepted the handball. That was poor. Essendon all over us at the moment. Oh, no. Not the direction of the pass I wanted. Oh, yes. Yes, there we go. Brilliant work from Oscar Allen and Liam Ryan to combine for a much-needed Eagles goal that came against the play. The Bombers have clearly been one or two levels better. On the wing. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Yo, goes with the kick. Oh, that might be one of the better goals. It's going to count as Cripps' goal. But that was a miraculous kick. By Yo, he bombed it. I actually only press X as in just a normal kick. That was for up 60 metres out. The lucky bounce has found Cripps. And two goals in a row the Eagles have just from playing a bit of soccer. Watch that bounce. That is filthy. That is dirty. Push in the back. Jack Redden's been gifted a free kick. The Eagles could potentially find themselves in front. Oh, he snuck it through by the barest of margins. With a three-goal burst, the Eagles are in front, despite probably being outplayed for most of this game. 
Moves it by foot. Taken well at ground level by Darling. Going for goal. Oh, yes, he's got to it. Josh Kennedy gets on the end of one, and that's another soccer goal for the Eagles. That's at least three out of five have come off the ground. And that is half time, and it's been a tight tussle. The Eagles have regained the lead by nine points, but it's been a bruising encounter. Lots of hip and shoulders, a lot of spoils, not a lot of marks. As we can see, 46 for the game. I think that's below average. 15 inside 50s apiece. It's a pretty even game, to be honest, especially when you look at the fact that Essendon have missed six of their nine shots on goal. Oh, this miss from the goal square, but it's hard to blame him for that. That was a tough opportunity. Oh, here we go. Yes, Darling takes it, intercepting Mark. He's found it tough going tonight. He's been impactful around the ground just with his little body uses and stuff like that. But in front of goal, this is his first real impact off the top of my head, unless it's his second. I think it's his first. Smith gets in the way. Begley releases by hand. The overlap is too hard to overcome. Boom, the Bombers run into an open goal through Razia Fantasia. They cut the margin back to 11 points, but boy, did they need that goal. The Bombers go straight out of the clearance. What is happening here? That is an absolute madness. I thought I brought the ball to the ground, and I did, but I've tapped it straight to Josh Begley, who is bombed. No pun intended. Another goal, and just like that, it's back to five points. Oh my goodness. It's kind of... It's like that uh, game against Fremantle where they've just entered God mode. That was two clearances that resulted in two goals. The Bombers are in front. Oh, plays just halted there for a second. It's allowed Essendon to pretty much waltz into an uncontested 50. He's missed again. The Bombers are peppering the goals, but can't quite finish the Eagles off. It's a foot race yet again. It's not straight. Oh, Tim Kelly's got an opportunity here. Oh, he shanked it. What was I thinking there? I went for the dribble. I was going for the Hollywood goal, to be honest. I can only blame myself. Oh, that is... What happened there? Shannon Hearn runs under the ball on purpose. I didn't run him at the ball. I feel stiff there. That was lame. Archie needs to get this right. The Eagles need a response here. It's out to 10 points. It's a pretty good effort. Terrific mark there. Zach Merritt marks over Josh Kennedy. Throwing the ball. Oh, I'll take that every day. Oh, he's not made the distance from there. Goodness me. Oh, high tackle. Bailey Williams gifted one in front of goal. The Eagles need to make this count. He's put it through the youngster and the Eagles cut the margin to four points right on the brink of three-quarter time. There it is. We go into the final change, trailing by four points as the Bombers have been just a bit too good all night other than a maybe five or ten minute passage where the Eagles really got on top and scored quick goals. But we look at the stats here. The inside 50s are even. We've had a lot less of the ball. We've tackled less as well, which is a bad indicator. Slightly ahead in the hitouts. Overall, it's a pretty tight game. McGrath's got 11 touches, most on ground. Dom Sheed's been the best for us. No multiple goal scorers among any or either of the sides. And let's go, guys. Do the Eagles have what it takes 
to snap a losing streak or will it go 0-3? High tackle awarded to Jack Darling. Can he find someone in the 50? It's going to be tough. He might have to go this himself with another Tory. Oh, it's a good effort. I don't know if it's got the legs. It's got the distance, but it is woefully inaccurate. Out of the full. Ouch. High tackle has been awarded it. Is he going to have a crack? He's got a bit of breeze behind him, Gaffey. That's a pretty good effort. Oh, he's bombed it. Oh, he's just missed. Oh, crucial miss. Unsure of their next move. Plays on. Okay, Kyle Hooker with the miss calculation has got has given the Eagles a chance. I'm not confident. Pretty good kick. I don't think it's quite got the journey. It does. That is a ripping goal. One of the goals of the day from Josh Kennedy. One of his best for the season, no doubt. And it could not have come at a better time for these Eagles. Oh, can he quite get there? Archie. Oh, that's stupid. That's so stupid. And he's paid the free kick to Essendon. Oh, yeah. Orazio and Fantasia outmarks Jeremy McGovern. I just have to accept that one. And they're lining up to go back in front. This could win the game the way this is going. He's put it through. The Dons lead by four. Or is it? Yeah, four points. The Eagles are staring down the barrel of a third consecutive heartbreak. Oh, again with these ripping handballs. Fantasia marks. He's going to find someone uncontested. Oh, he's brought it to ground. Well done. Oh, that is a, a very lucky kick out of the back line. Gaff's going to have to go quick. There's not long remaining. Petrocelli takes the grab. He can't mess this up. Oh, the siren's gone, has it? Oh, that's brutal. That is three consecutive losses. I'm actually gutted. I'm actually gutted. Three losses in a row, but under a goal. So we had five points against GWS. Four points against Collingwood? Or I yeah, I think so. And then four points again today. And the Eagles have let one slip here. Bombers were probably the better side over the course of the night. It was... A wet and windy night. Not a lot of clean ball. The Eagles, I must admit, I really, really had to fight for my goals in this game. As you can see, McGrath, Smith and Hurley take out the votes. No votes for Eagles, which is probably pretty telling. And we can see Andrew Gaff and Dom Sheed fought hard in the midfield. Tim Kelly on return wasn't really cited quite as much. Josh Kennedy, the only multiple goal kicker for us. Fantasia bobbed up at the end to win the win the game for the Bombers. Overall, we just weren't quite good enough. So as we look at the ladder after the bye, we've played one less game than the Pies, but we have been dislodged in top spot. If we win against the Tigers next week at the MCG, which is a big ask, although they are 12th, we will, uh, if we beat them, we'll go back into first spot. If we lose, we risk sliding, well, not actually, we'll stay in the top two for this week. But our position in the top two will weaken considerably. Adelaide Crows are still you know, just hanging around there in top four. Brisbane seventh, North eighth. Carlton playing pretty well for their ninth spot. Port Adelaide have slumped into the bottom two since I joked that I belted them and ruined their season. The Swans are tenth. Overall, a fairly mixed ladder, guys. But next week, we're going to be taking on the Tigers. Hope to see you there. It's going to be a belter, I'm sure. Cheers.